we're not as good as we used to be. Bill Hank is a 26-year IRS veteran and still employed with the agency. We try to do the right thing. Most of the people I work with, the vast majority of people I work with, are good, honest people. But Hank says a handful of the agency's 90,000 employees is giving the IRS a bad name. Hank is a whistleblower who alleges a culture of corruption within the IRS. He reported his concerns to IRS officials, even took them to Congress. But he says no corrective action has been taken. Hank says the scandal of alleged targeting of conservative nonprofits was just one of many issues. The problem is, overall, that executives can do whatever they want to do. And they do a lot of stuff simply because they can. Hank says he reported two major scams involving tax credits for businesses. According to him, both were lobbyist-led efforts that cost taxpayers billions of dollars. An exam team that I was advising wanted to raise the issue of whether these credits were taxable income. And we were told not to pursue the issue. By whom? By uh, the associate uh, chief counsel for income tax and accounting. So it was a high level chief counsel executive. We found him very credible. The Government Accountability Institute believes Hank's calls for more accountability are legitimate. What he's really showing in his revelations is that we have an IRS that's not really uh, being governed by our lawmakers. Those who monitor the government for accountability and waste say the corruption that attorney Bill Hank alleges within the IRS is a symptom of a much larger problem. While not talking about Hank's claims specifically, U.S. Senator Tom Coburn believes greater transparency is needed regarding all of the IRS issues. Transparency is the thing that keeps us together because it's the thing that enforces the rule of law. And it, it also means the equal enforcement. Hank says he has no axe to grind. He just wants to do the right thing. I think I have a legal obligation to do it. Kai Jackson reporting.